Okay, this is the GWS slow stick, which has been modified with a uh, Mia Microflight Auto Light conversion kit. This is what the model looks like, and we already did a couple videos and posted them on YouTube to show the flight characteristics of this particular Auto Light conversion on the GWS slow stick. Let me start with the wing. The wing was actually a blue color but I painted it yellow just so that it blends better with the anodized um, hot pink uh, structure uh, tubing that's been used on the uh, on the kit but you can use pretty much any color wing if you're not particular about matching colors with the airframe The airframe is uh, basically the same airframe, or rather the, the trike assembly is very similar to the trike assembly that I did for the uh, scratch-built um, Quicksilver uh, foamy version, which uh, I also showed on a YouTube video a while back. And uh, one of the reasons we decided to make a conversion kit for the GWS is because I felt that most people already have the GWS slow stick. You already have the main structure, which is the, the wing and the center spar, which is the center uh, keel uh, or boom, as sometimes these things are called. Uh, and so with those items at hand, all I needed to produce is just a kit and it just makes it easier to, to do this type of a product uh, as a conversion kit for the GWS instead of uh, making a whole kit which would require a bigger box, uh, um, higher shipping costs because I would have had to include the wings that I did for the, uh, the Quicksilver, the foamy version and just the wings alone can take up a lot of space. So it just made sense to, uh, uh, and more logical to do a conversion kit for the already existing GWS, which has a lot of air, um, uh, surface area on the wing. It's a high lifting uh, uh, surface uh, wing, and um, is uh, well suited for this uh, Neo Micro Flight Ultra Light conversion kit. So let me start by the the main things that you need to be aware of when you do this conversion is we are not using the full boom. The full boom for the GWS uh, slow stick comes in two sections. You have a long se section and a shorter section that you attach, I believe, either at the back or at the front to make it, to make uh, the the, uh, the boom longer. We're not using that smaller section, and we're just using the just the main section here, which is about. I would say about 16, uh, 24 inches in length. We're maintaining the same uh, tail, uh, vertical and horizontal surfaces. Basically they are attached in a similar way. What I did on this particular kit is I went a little bit further and I drilled two extra holes here and I added two bolts so that we could bolt a vertical stabilizer instead of just having it taped, double-sided tape as the original GWS um, airplane is done. So that's that's what you see here, these two small bolts and they're not attached with any uh, nuts because I made the hole small enough that I could just tap into the fiberglass boom. This is, uh, I believe this is uh, either fiberglass or carbon. You gotta be careful though because even though square carbon booms are strong yeah, there is a, they do tend to break if you compress them diagonally by pressing on the corners here with too much force. So just be be aware of that if you're not. Uh, this is not part of the kit, these uh, two screws, something that uh, you can certainly uh, uh, add yourself or you can ask us for a, uh, for a small uh, uh, kit that, inc that includes the two bolts and this plate here assembly. That reinforces the vertical tail stabilizer. I don't have those at our site yet, but 
if you request this by email we can uh, help you out there the tail section here the tail guard um, this is also another feature that uh, we added is an accessory uh, most people already have the uh, the tail guard that comes with the kit then that, that'll work fine but it tends to make noise as it drags on the ground as you're trying to take off so I came up with this particular uh, uh, tail uh, wheel um, strutted section here and this also this is also an accessory that you can purchase separately I made these accessories because I didn't want to raise the cost of the the uh, conversion kit too high and I wasn't sure if people would go for this or they just w were okay with the uh, standard tail guard that the uh, GWS uh, airplane comes with so but this is an accessory that you can certainly add on and once again you can request that via my via our website or just uh, by email so keep those things in mind the, the boom is is the one piece we're not using the, the smaller piece in the boom keep that in mind and so we move on to the front section here which is where the servos are attached you want to do all that stuff before you start attaching the, the trike and uh, and the main wing and, and the motor but let, let me go back to the servos here the servos are attached in that fashion and I hope this video is catching all these details I think explaining in a video is a lot easier and maybe with a supplemental photographs it'll be clear as to how this is set up keep in mind the distances notice the distance from the front of the boom to the to the servo and also keep in mind the uh, the control rods have been shortened by creating uh, small uh, bends and loops these, uh, these loops are also uh, assist in adjusting the length you can compress them or extend them to adjust the length of the control rod so they're parallel and in line with the uh, control surfaces basically that's very standard from the uh, original build of the GWS I believe and you can keep it that way just keep the location of the servos where they're at so that you can come up with a correct center of gravity once you add the trike to the main boom also notice the way we're attaching the uh, front support for the main wing it's basically one small uh, screw here and I believe I used a, a servo screw a spare servo screw that I had laying around just to attach that or I believe that's actually a, a bolt right through yeah you can use a bolt right through as we did here I don't know if this is part of the kit but if it's not you can also uh, use uh, servo screws and uh, one per side and attach it directly to the plastic part through the plastic part and, and onto the uh, square wooden uh, insert that this uh, motor bracket is part of now this motor bracket comes assembled with this arm here the arm you simply insert into the boom and you uh, hold it in place with these uh, uh, screws that I was talking about now in this particular uh, motor mount I added these extensions or spacers and that was just to clear the uh, the shaft of the, bo the the motor this particular motor is, is uh, came with the shaft extended towards the rear and the way this needs to be mounted unfortunately that was sticking too too much and uh, I didn't want to drill a hole through the center of the the the, uh, the arm of the motor mount arm and so in order to avoid that I simply added these spacers now depending on the type of motor that you use you may not have to worry about this and you can just mount a motor that's uh, that has the the, the, the motor uh, shaft flush with a mounting bracket you can just mount that directly to the, the wooden plate here the, the motor mount without the spacers so the spacers are not included in the standard uh, kit however this is also an, an accessory that you can purchase from us if you need to to um, to do this type of uh, setup if you have one of these types of uh, motors with the extended shaft towards the back 
Now the motor we're using here is a Turnigy Aero Drive. I don't know the specs on this motor, but um, I will post that on, on our website or you can ask uh, me via email and I will provide you with those uh, specifications. But this I believe is 13, 1300 uh, kV and I'm using a um, 9x47 prop, GWS prop and it seems to uh, do the job nicely. The only thing with these props, the GWS slow fly props, is that they tend to flex and if the motor has a, a lot of torque and the blade is not balanced correctly they tend to flutter and you'll hear a, a, a buzzing sound when they when they should really sound nice and nice and smooth you can also use an APC prop which is a little more rigid at the root and prevents this flexing that we see here but this has worked uh, fine with me the blade uh, I balanced the blade uh, um, before mounting it and uh, and it works just fine with this particular setup the speed control I'm using is a 25 amp Turnigy. Uh, it's just a basic uh, 25 amp, works fine. Any similar 25 to 30 amp uh, ESC should work with the uh, similar uh, size motor. I think this is a 150 watt motor, if I'm not mistaken. So keep these things as reference. I don't like to set on a particular motor because there are so many motors that are alike. Uh, with similar specs and uh, price ranges, and uh, I really like to leave that up to the to the user to uh, to do a little research and find out what it's best for the for the user. What I like, some people don't like, and what some people like, I don't like, and and so it leaves a little room for customization and uh, uh, put your own personal touches on the uh, particular flight characteristics of the of the model. Talking about flight characteristics of this particular model, because this trike sits underneath the, the main wing, it provides a little more stability than uh, the, the, um, the, the, the regular standard wire landing gear. This also brings down the weight and the CG a little bit lower. And so this model flies a lot more realistic, almost, almost like a real ultralight flies and it's because of this particular trike setup and the way it's mounted to the to the boom or the main spar here the mounting is simply done via this wooden uh, section here this wooden section here is part of the kit the trike kit or the uh, trike assembly kit and it's bolted down with nylon hardware all the all the hardware here is nylon to keep the weight uh, it, it uh, very minimal while still providing uh, a good solid form of attaching all these uh, tubular sections that make up the trike frame. So these sections are attached also to this wooden part here via, uh, via nylon hardware. These are a little bit longer bolts here with nylon lock nuts in the back and that's how that's done. Once the trike is assembled, and I'll go a little more into detail about the trike, you simply attach this whole setup with three tie wraps, nylon tie wraps, which are part of the kit, and right onto the existing GWS boom as we've done here. Because these parts are square, they hold firmly and in place and uh, without any slop. The trike frame is basically assembled in, uh, in sections. What you want to do first is you want to assemble the bottom section here. And I will take some photographs and mark these sections with numbers so that you know which, which are the, the bottom sides, uh, which are the diagonal sides, which are the upper um, uh, supporting uh, uh, tubes and also the rear supporting tubes and a brace here for the seat. There's a brace for the seat at that point. Uh, uh, and uh, I believe that's the only brace there, horizontal brace. Oh, and of course the, uh, the, the main uh, axle uh, support. So it's pretty straightforward if you look at this video and, and you just uh, look at the way we've done here.